And here we are again, Ginger. <sighs> the redneck Superman is back on board. <laughs> Come on, bring it. <laughs> redneck Superman keeps bringing, getting brought up over here, over there. I heard my name brought up over here. Over there. Yeah. Everywhere. This and that, this one and that one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're sitting oh. here in a Walmart parking lot eating some pretzel pop tarts. These things are delicious. They are good. <laughs> but anyways. So. A little cheap. I heard I got called out tonight. You got called out? Yeah, I was in uh, Arizona stream. I remember we was in AZ. He's talking AZ. That was a good stream. Well, you know, AZ's really going through some stuff, man. He's, you know, he's got issues and he's going through some stuff. Just... And I've known AZ for years, okay? I've defended AZ multiple times. I know. And he'll tell you that he has my name tattooed on his butt because I've saved his butt so many times. But but somebody came in and told you that somebody was calling you out somewhere or something. I know. We laugh and laugh and laugh. So uh, I'm just like, and then I heard I was obsessed. You were on a pan. We were on a panel actually on AZ's panel. So let me let me put it out there, and you tell me who you think is more obsessed, okay? They got my personal information, mm -hmm. put out videos of my house, my children, my ex, my family members, yeah. um, anything you can imagine to find out about me. I mean, I even got sent a screenshot of this person sitting in front of her computer with my personal information in front of it. But they call me obsessed, and I, I don't know who their family members are. I don't give a fuck who their family members are. I don't care where they live what or... What color the closets are. What color. I don't what give a shit. What kind of tent you got in your front yard. I know. So hey, who sounds more obsessed? Uh, they, they apparently do, because also, you know, sometimes I hear stuff, stuff about the Redneck Superman out there that I didn't even know about the Redneck Superman. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> where did this happen? I know. She's, like, obsessed with your D. Oh, well. I mean, it is what it is. But I just find it funny. And, you know, I think it's funny when you come into a stream after you know that I've left and you run your mouth. You know, it's ridiculous. Oh, I heard about something like that today, yo. I know. After you somebody left. sent me a screenshot. I mean, yeah, clearly. But that's what these people do Because you told me you are going content. to cook dinner for us and the kids. You, right, You I were know. going to cook dinner for us and the kids. You cooked a great tortellini with broccoli and a great... Italian cheese combination that we had got. It was good. It was, it was perfect, and the kids ate two plates a piece. Well, they had to because we're on keto. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> it was great. But you went in there to cook dinner, and it took you a little bit to cook dinner. I mean, right. I remember and you then, put down, down everything. You said, "I'm going to cook dinner for you and the kids." I'm like, "Cool." And I you picked know? up my Twitter, and somebody sent me a screenshot of somebody bad mouthing me. You know, this person every time she wants content, that's when you know that she's like her channel is dying. Okay. As soon as she needs content, she'll be in these streams running that mouth so she can go live there's and have something to say. There's more than one person say. that does that. I've noticed there's more than one yeah, person that does that. Because it happened in AZ stream earlier. Because Queenie does the exact same thing. Like, here's the thing, Queenie. I'm sorry that your friends don't talk to you unless you have drama with me going on. You know, I know that you miss me and Carrie and all of us and, and talking to you every single night. I know you miss that. And I don't think that these girls talk to you unless you have some kind of shit going on with me. Because I notice every time you're lonely, you go and poke at me and stir shit up with me. And then I'm sure they call you then. I'm sure they get in your DMs then. And then you want to go and, like, get everybody riled up against me again because, you know, that's your only content. You used to do the exact same thing to MER, and now you're doing it to me, and now you're doing it to Bliss. You know, when you came into AZ stream, he took your wrench because you were being a troublemaker with it. That's not your channel. That is Arizona's channel. <laughs> and if he wants to be neutral and be friends with everybody, then that's his right to do so. He didn't say anything negative about you. He didn't say anything negative about MER. But you would, you were not even being brought up in that stream. And that's what it is. You just wanted attention. And you heard me on that panel. I was dealing with AZ. He was all up in his feelings. And it didn't have a damn thing to do with you. So you had to go in there and pull some shady shit and be a troublemaker. 
just to get your name brought up so you can go live and run your mouth. You know, start having other content. Go back to your gaming streams. Go back to your wrestling streams. Do your crazy house videos. You don't have to keep... She did some great TV show themes. Type, which talks about 80s, 90s TV theme shows. Doesn't she do that? Yeah, I think so. I don't have a problem, Quinny. I like Quinny. I like MER. And Redneck Superman ain't going to stay nothing bad about y'all. But after today, we're not going to... Don't go around talking and saying Jamie's bringing you up. Because we're not going to make... There's not going to be no podcast bringing up nobody's No, we're nobody's just explaining name. what happened tonight. Nobody's we, bashing. And Victoria Cotton, Trippy Socks, whatever the fuck you want to go by... Honey, you don't have no, like, you guys think that there's the gangs of YouTube and there's lines drawn in the sand like it's kindergarten. And if you're friends with this person, then you can't talk to or associate with that person. That's not how any of this should work. We are grown up adults and people should be able to be friends with whoever they want to. As long as they're not chiming in against the hate against you then why the hell is it a problem? But you're also the person that paid to try to get somebody swatted, so I kind of think a lot less of you now. You know, you're, you're, you use your money to hurt people and get people bullied, and you're part of the problem. You know, we should all be adults and, and be able to be friends with whoever we want to be friends with. I'm friends with a lot of people that don't get along with each other. You know, if I'm on a panel... And we wish they would get and, along. And we <laughs> wish they would. You know, if I'm on a panel and somebody doesn't like so-and-so... And, and I've been to many a streams where I'm the one being bashed. And AZ's been on panel and he's not chiming in. But I've also known AZ for a, for a lot longer than a lot of you other people have. You know, I've known AZ for years now. You know, I'm pretty sure Queenie met AZ through me. I met AZ through you. Because I met AZ through Papa Grizz, and at that time, Queenie was blocked because she was a fucking troublemaker. I had to get her unblocked. Just mm -hmm. like I got Victoria unblocked. Twice. And when somebody was trying to dox out her info, both times I went and told her about it like a friend would... Like a friend would. Yeah, I was in a stream the other day when somebody's chatting. They started talking bad about somebody that I, that I liked and that I thought I was a friend with. And I felt bad because now I'm like, dude, now I'm stuck in this situation where if somebody comes in here, they think I'm hanging around and this person talking shit about this person. And I wasn't. I just went in there to say hi. You well, know, that's and all the of a sad thing is start... YouTube is getting so toxic to where it's like everybody is like having this toxic level of fighting where you know it's it's you can't go to any stream without somebody you know or somebody that you're cool with being brought up and shit talked you know you can either a don't chime in or b don't type in the chat you know but it's unfortunate because we are grown adults here yeah, and we see, should if me and you are in a chat it's it's because we're being sociable it's not because we're agreeing with everything that's being said on that panel Right. You know, you can go in there and drop, hey, I dropped a like, I'm saying hi, you know, and see what goes on. I know, that's why I hate that that term like, well, you support so-and-so. Like, if I'm not fucking you, feeding you, or financing you, I'm not supporting you. Mm -hmm. I go into a lot of chats where I don't agree with everything that the, the host is talking about. Yeah. Or I don't condone or co-sign well, well, things. Well, let's this way, too. I watch a lot of TV shows where I don't agree with the host is saying. Exactly. You know? But you still watch, I, right? I, it's I, yeah, I watch Rachel Rachel Ray, and I don't like every every uh, every dish she cooks. I don't like her. I, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm using that as an example. You know, I, I watch The Chew. I love The Chew. That's a great cooking show. I don't know if it's still on. But they, they cook dishes sometimes. I don't like fish dishes. I don't like... I know you, you don't know, like and, seafood. And it's the same way. I mean, we, we had Tripp brought this up with Grizz one time, like... Papa Grizz, just because I go to Burger King doesn't mean I hate McDonald's. You know, there's always that analogy. There's so many restaurants along this street called YouTube. You know, just because you go to one place doesn't mean you hate the other place. You know, what's you know? funny is, you know, when Tuna rolled up in that chat of Jake's, it's like she proved exactly the point that was brought up against her. And nobody was technically bashing her. We were bringing up the situation about how a lot of people seem to let their standards and morals go out the window when she's around you know um abe for one he says he doesn't like when people bring up kids he's totally against that i've seen him block people for that i've seen him uh defriend people for that but you know abe when when tuna was on your panel you not only like not 
said anything about her comment directed about my children, but you highlighted it even. Yeah, he's he's went too far down a road he shouldn't be going down. You know, and like, you know, when you start going against what you preach against, people see that and they, they stop, you start losing credibility. But, you know, Tuna, you did prove that point, like, you know, about the, we were talking about the boss up out situation and how that's the protocol for the cults. And as soon as you seen Samantha in there, who wasn't saying a negative word about you, who didn't say anything um, out of out of line or mean or malicious, because she was on that panel with Bliss and in that chat with me in there, you know, you kicked her out of your stream, and she was trying to explain herself to you. She pretty much manufactured an enemy that wasn't didn't even exist. Wasn't Just it? Yeah, a she, new enemy she for had herself. Samantha had no dog in that fight she was not saying anything negative about tuna but you know we were discussing Samantha's how she's a nice girl every time i run into her she's really nice, nice to me she's i've never had a nice problem girl. with her never yeah. seen her talk sideways about nobody no she's not that kind of person she's she really is i heard like some other friendly. things happen later on in the evening tonight and i'm not and like she tried clearing up some stuff and she wound up getting blocked is she what did. I heard. They, that's what i heard they threw her out of the chat because bliss brought it up um, on AZ's panel that they threw her out of the chat because... And that's how the cult treats you. When you come there with, with reasoning and logic and respect and, and try to say And what's funny is we something. were just saying that in that chat of Jake's and Tuna proved exact... That's exactly how she is. I mean, she proved it herself. So the sheep and cult and cult nation or boss up nation just kicked her out for... They, yeah. She, was in, she went in the chat and they kicked her out just for... Just Being saying, in Can a, I, a non good chat. Yeah. You know, and then they... Even though she didn't, she wasn't chiming in. And I know Samantha, in. she didn't say nothing about it when she went to Colt Nation's live stream. She wasn't being, like, when Bliss and Jake and her were on panel, she didn't say anything malicious against Tina. She didn't say anything mean or rude. You know, um, they were talking very, like, sensibly and logically. And then Tuna rolls in after me and Bliss leave talk some shit, and then Samantha goes to go into her stream and gets booted out, even yeah. though she didn't do anything yeah. wrong. This is not bashing, but Tuna, you see how you just created an enemy that you didn't need? You created more enemies than you needed. You already got enough on your plate. You already got enough. You created more. Well, until just... she changes her content, she's never going to have many friends like the people that she has now she might as well stay with those people because she's not going to get any new subs i mean the little bit of clout that she had with agp is over now she's not going to have all those new people come into her channels and since she's decided to turn her platform into a bullying platform she's not going to keep her channel for very long mm -hmm. it's just not going to happen youtube rules are changing and we're not bashing we're just saying we're just, just putting it out there like that you know you can't yeah. create more enemies by keep acting like that and expect to keep going on the, you know, and, and growing. That you means can't. no fresh PayPal's, you know, all those people that are, you know, you, you pretty much are tapped out when it comes to the people that follow you. What I see is, is either mods in your chat and a few people and the rest of those people are watching just to record the stupid shit you say and the lies that you say so they can go run over to the other side and call you out on them. You know, so you don't have a lot of people. I mean, how long did it take for you to finally get your cell phone paid off? Like four or five days? Like last year, you would have done had that money. It doesn't matter. She's, she was lying about the whole situation because she tried to say the AT&T, her cable and the internet and all that in the phone and was bundled. And we know for a fact they won't bundle cell phones bill. with that. It's they will AT&T will not bundle. Me and a few other people discussed it. And, and I thought I, maybe I was the only one because I tried. You know, I was going to get I, you a cell phone. I and remember a, that. And you was going to get them bundled because we already and, pay for cable and internet through, through AT&T. AT so it's like and it would make sense. Some other people chimed in and said the same thing happened to me. We, we They paid like two separate bills for all that. You can't get it bundled together. And then when you're using other people's platforms, so then you have three PayPal links in your chat. So now you're going to divide that money three ways. I mean, it's it's not it's not looking good for you. You know, and that's if you don't get another strike. I don't know how you got the one lifted, but, you know, if I were you, I'd be cautious of how many more times you want to bully people on your platform. Or Dr. Phil's in the background. I'd worry about that. 
<laughs> Just saying. Well, Angie's going to burn her channel to the ground. And let me tell you something else, honey. It took me two seconds to figure out that you are I am wrath and speak the hate. I didn't sit there like you did on meth for five days making PowerPoint presentations and wasting all this precious time and energy on the bullshit. I seen a few sentences and I said, boom, that's Angie. I know you said that and I'll take my own stance here, my own stance is, and it doesn't have to agree with yours or disagree. Brandon's involved because he's the only one smart enough and the highest IQ of all of Boss Up to pull off any of that to make it work. Nothing is you, Brandon, well, just saying. This, this, and this that's my probably take on why it got, it got called out. You know, because Angie's not the smartest, even though she thinks she is. You know, that's, that's why I say Brandon has to be involved. He's the only one right? smart enough. Right, and then we figured out as soon as, you know, Robert 05 over there was talking about, like, you'll never guess who it is. Well, how do you know? There's supposedly this underground legion of motherfuckers. <laughs> I like how I am, Ruth. It's like, we're not connected with Tuna in any way. We don't have anything <laughs> to do with her. Now she goes live and saying, that's my people on the other side, outside YouTube. But and I am Ruth say something totally different know, than you and are. And they wonder why we didn't <laughs> fall for that shit. But I'm crazy, okay? I'm crazy. Yeah. And that goes to my other point. You know, you guys want to keep picking on me for PTSD and for you know things that I've I've done you know that's really sad and it's tragic you know I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy some of the darkest days that I've had yeah and so I try every day to be living in health and wellness and not be taking steps backwards into mental illness it's it's a very sad thing but if you're gonna sit up there and talk about those things you got to imagine some of your people in your chat probably have the same fucking problems and you're up there making fun of somebody else for them if you don't think that's not going to lose you subs you're insane or, no, or, or 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 talking about people that shop at goodwill and when your own supporters shop at goodwill exactly you know, i mean we all do i mean everybody does and it's mostly angie that brings the shit up and and tuna lets her and, you know, it, it just is going to make, you know, she doesn't realize that letting Angie pull her strings, whether it be behind the scenes, which I heard that's where she does most of her dirty work, or on the front lines. Like, it's losing you all types of fans, credibility, um, you know, do you really want to be known for that, that you bullied a girl off the internet that had emotional and mental problems? Like, that's what you want to be known for? I mean, get the fuck out of here. I know, because PTSD for, and well, living our life, it's rough sometimes, you know? There's sometimes we have to, you know, talk about things. And we have to, there are dark days. There are dark days. I still have dark days. I still have very dark days. And there's times where I take breaks from YouTube. And I just yeah. can't be around it. And, and that's the thing. I can be off YouTube for six yeah. months, come back, and Tuna's still fucking so bringing me up. We've been doing things up. like we go to the gym, like, almost every night this week we've been. Tonight for the, is the last first night. two weeks. Yeah. And we've been using, utilizing our time doing other things, you know, besides YouTube. I mean, sometimes we come on here and mess around. You know, it's fun. See, but that's the thing, Jeff, is they're not doing other things. They are literally, they're either, they're talking about YouTube, they're planning, they're plotting, they're coming up with eight-part bullet, like, PowerPoint fucking presentations. They're creating fake channels to try to fool people. You know, I, yeah, and muddy I mean, the water. Even today I was mostly doing some other stuff, but then I was had time to upload a few like one minute videos for some breaking news stories. You know, that don't take but a few seconds of my time. But you know, I was discussing how, you know, our life takes this positive spin and how we do our things, and maybe somebody could take some something from that, you know? Right. You know, if we, you want to be neutral, just you know, try to play try to stay in your lane. Don't don't chime in when you see somebody's getting ganged up on, you know, and I can't say that some people won't get territorial and throw you out of chats because they don't like that you're friends with so and so. But if you're the if they're your real friend, they won't care that you can be, you know, it's called adulting, okay? I don't like all of the people that my friends like and vice versa. But I mm -hmm. deal with it, you know, as long as they're not chiming in against the hatred towards me and the bullying and the gang ups, then it's adulting, man. And yeah. and you should try it. Like seriously. <laughs> Yeah, try it. It works. It's hard. It is hard. I hate adulting. Sometimes it is hard. But I'm out on defense. I was left unsupervised. 
That was a joke. I don't write. I don't write this stuff for free. Like we're at Walmart <laughs> in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when we stream from the gym parking lot. That's oh, I know, right? That's fun. That's too. The, they got the best internet. Yeah, the gym does have good internet. <laughs> I'm paying. I'm paying for that every month. But anyways, I think it's time to get out of here. It's kind of late. I don't know how long we've been on here, but I think that most of our points out. Well, I just want to say, you know, don't take it out on Arizona. He's already having issues at home. He's already having issues with his friends on YouTube. He takes things very personally, and he was he was really sad, and that's the whole reason I joined the panel in the first place. You because don't need Arizona to is your my friend. Why you join I know, the but panel. now they're gonna gang up on Arizona. You know, even though it the stream was not about the queue at all, she had yeah, to come in. Yeah, that came in. out of nowhere. She, well, and she I, does like I said, that. I had nothing against her, but it was kind of weird. All of a sudden, I seen her blocking somebody in the thing because I got a wrench. She was stirring shit up to like get the topic onto her, so she would have content to go live with later. Yeah. And then she riled up Mer and riled up Hubbard for no fucking reason. Well, I'll take the middle road here. Don't go around saying that we're bringing you up and talking about you and this and that because we're not going to do it. We're. I'm doing this for AZ. For AZ. Anyways, we're going to get off here. This is, Redneck, this is the Redneck Superman. <laughs> and Jamie. And we out.